Four months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel, determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 55th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to work towards buying the scramjet next and it's going to come in at four million dollars and currently right now i'm sitting at eight hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars so we still need to make right around three million two hundred thousand dollars before we can actually purchase the scramjet but how am i going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to actually do our first ever payphone hit and we haven't done a payphone hit this entire time during season two but today's the day we're going to do our first payphone hit all right, so right now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this video in order to make money? And it looks like we are okay, okay. I think we are going to the beautiful island of Cayo Perico. And I'm not taking my talents from Los Santos to Vice City. We're gonna take our talents from Los Santos to the beautiful island of Cayo Perico and rob El Rubio of some money. And since this is such a good wheel spin, we're gonna have to forfeit our next wheel spin. All right, so we're gonna do a Cayo Perico guys today in this video but first i'm actually going to do a payphone hit but before i get into that payphone hit i want to talk to you a little bit about my upcoming schedule for posting now if you're watching this video when it comes out this video came out on a monday i usually don't post on mondays and i'm posting on monday because tomorrow is when the new dlc comes out now unfortunately i'm not going to be able to post tomorrow the day the dlc comes out because i have some real life obligations i have to take care of but i'm going to record on tuesday and hopefully i have videos ready to go for wednesday thursday Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be covering a lot of the DLC content. So, you know, smash that subscribe button if you want to subscribe to the best GTA 6 YouTuber out there. It's not even a question really at this point. Also, if you want early access to these videos, then you should join my membership because all of my members get early access to all of my videos before they are posted to the entire public. All right, so I think we got that all squared away. Now, let's jump into our first payphone hit. All right, so here's the problem right now with our first payphone hit. For payphone it's you can usually go to your phone and you can call up Franklin and you can request a payphone it and that works so easily. See like right here, but for your first payphone it, you're not allowed to do that. You have to like get it to spawn in for you. Oh, and it just spawned in for me. Okay, never mind. I thought this was gonna be bad. I thought this was gonna be so bad. It literally just spawned in for me. Thank you. Yeah, so last episode we did our first three security contracts, which gives us the ability to unlock payphone hits, which is really, really nice. But yeah, let's pick up the phone. And the thing with payphone hits with the first one you do you can't really skip this so yeah this is kind of like a little introduction to payphone hits and franklin's just talking about like oh my god i used to do this back in the day ha 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 in story mode ha 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 like once again i understand this when you're doing this for the first time but i mean i'm doing this for what i don't know i this is probably like the fourth account i've unlocked payphone hits on now at this point so i already know what's going on oh yeah and then after the introduction he actually goes into what we're doing you can't skip any of those if it's the first time so that's awesome all right so i was doing some things on my phone and um, we've kind of just been sitting here for like five minutes but anyways we need to assassinate the target and luckily this is one of the ones i do like i really like this one this one's very quick especially for this specific payphone that i just did all we have to do is just go to the country club which is like a few blocks away this is just gonna be very quick i mean most of these payphone hits are very quick but this one in particular is just even more quick so the thing with this payphone is we need to go up here to the front of the country club we need to walk on in and then we go from our loser outfit to our country club outfit to fit in um what is our assassin Fascination bonus. Okay. Like the golfing equipment and take out the target with a golf club. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to run all the way to where this target is. I'm just going to whack this person with a golf club. And the thing with the assassination bonus is the fact that you actually want to complete the assassination bonus. This is not like an LSA operation bonus where you're only getting $15,000. Uh-uh-uh. If you get the operation bonus here, you get $70,000. Pretty much your entire pay cut is settled in with this assassination bonus. Hello. Hey, come on. Let's get the kill, please. Okay, nice. Got the kill. Um, This person has security guards that sucked. So now you need to leave the area and we should be good to go. And that, that's pretty much it. Plain and simple. All right, and there we go. Payphone, it has been completed for $85,000. So yeah, this is definitely one of the better things on the wheel of quick cash now. And there you go. You see, oh, well, it just disappeared. But uh, you get a normal payment of $15,000 just for completing them. And the assassination bonus is $70,000. All right, so after that payphone hit, we're now 
now sitting at $943,000. But now it's time for me to go to my Kasaka and actually start up the Kayo Perico heist. So let's get into that. All right, so now I'm at my Kasaka and it's time for us to start up another Kayo Perico heist, our second ever Kayo Perico heist on this account. So we need to go to the planning screen and we've already paid the setup cost because we collected some buried stashes. So we don't have to pay the $100,000 right now, which is pretty nice. But yeah, we need to get into the gather intel mission. Um, I'm not going to show you the gather intel mission except for what our primary loot is going to be or if anything else crazy happens. I hope not though. All right, so we're in the CCTV now now and we're going to take a look at the basement um can we please get a pink diamond please please oh no okay we get a ruby necklace which i think that's the second worst one i mean all of them pretty much now have like a value right around like seven hundred thousand dollars aside from the pink diamond all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna take a look around like at all of the secondary loot locations within the compound and the reason i'm doing that is because from here on out when we do a kyle perico eyes we're not just gonna do it solo because well if you're gonna watch me do this solo once again, then you're pretty much just watching the same thing over and over. So to spice things up a little bit, we are going to do this with another person. That's right. We are going to do this with multiple people. And doing this with multiple people is a lot different than doing this solo because your goal is to try to get as much gold as possible. And I've already seen there's a decent amount of gold within the compound. So that's going to be our goal to try to get the gold so we can walk away with even more money. Yeah. So for doing it with multiple people, there's going to be one setup that's going to be a little bit different. So I'll walk you through that setup. And then in the end, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Oh, I need to go scope out the main dock. I completely forgot about that. The first time I did this heist, I forgot to scope out the main dock. Well, okay. Now I'm thinking about it. I mean, like, I'm still going to scope it out. We definitely need to scope it out. I feel like at least once just in case if I ever want to do this solo at some point. Oh, I also forgot to tell you about this when I was going over, like, my schedule for this new DLC that's going to come out. So the DLC is going to come out Tuesday. This episode is coming out Monday that you're watching right now now. There's going to be another episode of Loser the Luxury. The next one that will release since the DLC releases is going to be Friday. But the thing with that episode on Friday is that that one's going to be pre-recorded. So if you're expecting like DLC content for that video, just hold on for a second because you got to wait one more video because the next Loser the Luxury that will be posted on Sunday, that will be the first one since the DLC came out. But I'll mention that again when we get to that episode. I have no idea what to even expect with this new DLC. I'm recording this Thursday right now before the DLC has come out. And I really don't even know much about the DLC. I know there's like a little bit of information about it. I haven't even really paid attention, to be honest. All right, there we go. I scooped out the main dock as an infiltration point, which is very nice. Now, please take me back to the plane and yeah, let's get out of here, please. All right, there we go. Intel has been completed. Now we're going to get into our next prep mission, which I'll walk you through that one because we haven't seen this one before. All right, so now we're going to select our approach vehicle and the approach vehicle we're going to use for multiple people is going to be the Saka. This is going to be the best approach vehicle with multiple people. The best one as a solo player is going to be the long fin, and that's what we did the first time. Now we're doing this with multiple people. So we're going to use our Kasaka as the approach vehicle. So let's get into this mission. All right. So in order to get this approach vehicle, we have to go to a Kasaka that's just in the middle of the water. And the thing with this one is there's a helicopter right there that is very, very annoying. So I would really like to take out this helicopter. That would be incredibly nice. So I'm going to get onto this, I guess, rock that's in the middle of the water just take that out okay there's still more boats shooting at me it's some dinghies it's very nice yeah these guys are ruthless if you can't take them out and like usually i have like a sparrow to take these guys out but unfortunately i don't have a sparrow all right there we go i took out all the guys at oh my dinghy oh my god yeah my dinghy just floated away you know what screw it i'm just gonna use one of the enemy's dinghies i don't care but yeah now we need to swim to this kasaka right here all right so now what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a signal jammer essentially uh this mission is pretty quick but I mean, these guys down here are pretty ruthless. So you have to keep an eye out for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this approach vehicle used to be like the best way for any kind of Kyo Perico heist, like solo and multiplayer. But when the Drug Wars DLC came out late 2022, uh, yeah, that changed everything. So, haha. <laughs> oh man, so now what we need to do is steal the signal jammer. And there we go. We have a signal jammer in our possession. So now we just need to get out of here, take it back to our Kasatka, and we should be good to go. All right, and we've made it back to our Kasatka sadka right here and there we go heist prep has been complete all right so from this point on i'm just gonna do the rest of the prep missions kind of in like autopilot mode i'm just gonna listen to music you know chill out complete all that because y'all have seen that before and if you do the kaya Perico heist a lot you understand fully what those setup missions entail and i'll see you when we're ready to do the finale
All right, so I've completed all the prep, so now it's time for us to actually get into the Kayaprika heist. All right, so we found someone to do the Kayaprika heist with. So yeah, I'm gonna walk you through everything that we're gonna do for this Kayaprika heist. So our approach vehicle is going to be the Kasatka, as we discussed earlier. Our infiltration point, we unlocked the main dock, which is pretty nice, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do the drainage tunnel. Our compound entry point is going to be the drainage tunnel. Our escape point, um, yeah, this one doesn't matter, so we're gonna do airstrip just to click something time of day i would like to rob someone in the daytime so we can just see what's going on and we want some suppressors on our weapons and yeah i think we are ready to go let's jump into it all right game we've been sitting here for a little bit hello okay 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 that took like a minute just to load in like this little screen i, I was about to get pissed off kind of like two episodes ago with selling all vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse but anyways we just need to swim to el rubio's compound so we can actually get started with this Cayo perico heist now with this Cayo perico heist it's going to be a lot different doing it with multiple players instead of doing it as a solo player or at least the most ideal way to do it well the person that's joined our Cayo perico heist he was in that video where viewers join the heist. You join this one. Uh, he's level 32. Uh, I'm not communicating with him right now. I don't know, honestly, how good he is at a Kyo Perico heist. I would suspect he's pretty decent, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, and doing it with multiple players, too. I'm not the best at doing it with multiple players either, and hopefully I can get a little better. Kind of prove that I'm pretty decent at this, but what we want to do now, if I can get around him. Okay, nice. What I want to do first is we're trying to find key cards, and we're trying to find key cards so we can get into the secondary loot locations. One location is right here um there's no key cards here awesome yeah the key cards can be all over the place that's the problem this is one annoying thing about doing it with multiple players the key card can be so many different places uh is it here Oh, yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that. Thank you. All right. The way I like to do the Kaio Perico High solo is a little bit blocked up by a juggernaut that's right there. So I don't want to run right there yet. Uh, luckily, my teammate is just kind of chilling out right here. All right. So now I'm going to run only a little bit, though. I'm going to run to like this spot because there's another guard that's like right there. Okay. Now that guy's turning around. That's going to give us a window of opportunity to run right behind him. All right. So yeah, we're going to run. No, 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 no. no. Hold on. Oh, I I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up, Loki. Oh, God. We've been caught. That's on me. My teammate's following me. That's on me. God dang it. That's on me. Technically, my teammate was the one that got caught. He was following right behind me. I just kind of was like, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Yeah, I'm trying to get better at doing it with multiple players, but obviously that didn't work. Okay, let me try this again. Ha 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 ha. We had a good cue card location spot. Um, not there. If it's one of the first, like, three guys that I'd kill, it's actually pretty nice. If not, then we're going to have to kill, like, a bunch of people, which is going to be annoying. Oh, great. Haha, <laughs> thank you for not having it. Wow, you're so cool. I forgot. Can I kill this guy right here? I hope I can, because I just did. Ha ha ha. All right, another key card. All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, yeah, so we need to find one key card out here in the compound, in the main compound area. The second key card location is going to be inside of El Rubio's office. Okay, we're going to run over here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to run into this little cubby right here, so we can get away from that guard that's right there. There's probably a better way to, like, do this, but this is just the way I know just from doing this high solo so many times um we're gonna chill right here for right now because that guard right there teammate uh oh my teammate might uh oh now the juggernaut's coming back. it is completely different right now doing it with multiple players yeah geez take your time i mean the elite challenge is not even on the table anymore okay now we're gonna run i think no because that is so annoying this guard now is here oh my god can you please make up your mind there's a guard that's like right in the way of where i want to go please turn around okay you moved okay good 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 thank goodness all right this guard is finally moving thank you you can die all right so now we're gonna go over here um we're gonna take out this guard for fun oh he had gate keys too beautiful <laughs> Okay, okay, I kind of low-key panicked for a second because there's going to be a guard that's going to charge. Yeah, okay, I think if you kill this guard close to where some other guards are, um, they're going to hear the death of this guy, which is not what we want. All right, I think we're good now. Yeah, all right, all right, we're good now. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so here's the second key card location. Very nice. Um, And then we're going to open up the safe right here so we can get some more money. Our actual first money. And we got, okay, $74,000. That's actually really, really nice. Okay, my teammate got the Perico pistol. Can I get the Perico pistol? Or is it only one person? Okay, only one person. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, um, I gotta do a hack real quick. All right, so there we go. Okay, my teammate just picked up the um, painting right there, which I guess can be another form of secondary loot. That wasn't really our goal, but it's all right. Uh, our goal is to go over here and get gold, and there's a little bundle of gold over here, so I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Yeah, gold's gonna be the best secondary loot, so that's what we're trying to go for. Another thing, too, is we want to collect the primary target later on. I think my teammate's about to take the primary target. Uh, can I message him real quick? Okay, I just I got it off. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay, yeah. We want to try to get all the secondary loot first because there's going to be more guards that spawn in. All right, so now we need to get more loot. And this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting because I don't know how I'm going to get to another good loot location. I think there's a building with two gold bundles. And obviously, we want to get that. But the problem is, how are we going to get there? Well, it doesn't even look that bad because all we have to do is just walk right here. <laughs> well, this is nice. <laughs> this is really nice. All right, yeah, we just walk on in and go get some gold bundles. Wait, do not, not yet. Not, do not get it yet. Cause there's a, no, 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 no. Do not get it yet. Do not get it yet. Hold on. There was like a guard right next to us. I was a little bit concerned about that. Maybe that guard didn't hear us. Okay. I thought some guards hear us and some guards, you know, don't, but whatever. All right. So now what we're going to do is go back into the vault and we're actually going to get that target. God, if you do this with multiple players, you're probably like, what the heck are you doing, Dr. Crush? And it's more of me not knowing exactly what to do, but trying to take feedback in the comment section or take Take right now is $1,772,000. My take is 85%. So this is going to be pretty good. The take is a lot nicer when you do this with multiple players. It's a pretty nice incentive for doing this with multiple players. But it is a little annoying sometimes when you get a terrible teammate. But my teammate right here is solid. He knows what he's doing for the most part. He's not getting into my way. He's not getting into his own way. Which I feel like a lot of random teammates, they do that. They just get in their own way. Um, I'm going to take that guy out. Um, I'll let my teammate take that vehicle. No, no. Oh, you take that. You take that. Yeah, 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 you take that. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm going to take out the guy that drives over here. I can't get on your bike. It's only a one-seater bike, which is very stupid. I'm taking this vehicle, and then I'm going to drive off of here. All right, so now we are just going to get out of here. Just swim away, and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We completed the Cayo Perico heist. Probably not the best way to do it, but whatever. And there we go. Heist passed. All right, so we had a potential take of $5,082,000. We had an actual take of $1,559,000. I got 85% of that, which is $1,325,000. I did not complete the Elite Challenge because I screwed up. All right, so after that Cayo Perico heist, we're now seeing a 2 million two hundred and fifty one thousand dollars so we need to make right around like two million dollars before we can actually purchase a scramjet next make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see viewers get one attempt to complete my heist in gta online